everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube, and back in the 1980s, when I was just three, four years old, after watching the original Ghostbusters movie and the real Ghostbusters animated series, I knew there was only one thing I wanted to do with my life. And no, it wasn't run a Ghostbusters website or a Ghostbusters YouTube channel. Instead, I wanted to actually be a Ghostbuster. Once again, I was like three, four years old. I didn't know any better. I didn't know ghost busting wasn't a real thing. Lay off me. Now being a kid in the 1980s, there was one toy that I thought would actually help me achieve my dream. Of course, I'm talking about Kenner's Real Ghostbusters Proton Pack. Now I know I'm not the only one, but as a kid, I totally lost my mind when I got my hands on this Proton Pack. I forget the exact year. I wanna say it was Christmas 1988. And I know it may sound sad for some, but being an adult and being able to actually re-add this Proton Pack into my collection, along with the box that it came in, I may be more excited now as an adult than I was as a kid. Ah, this is so cool. Of course, we're gonna give you a once over of the box here in a second, as well, we're gonna crack this open and we're gonna show you what's inside. But I do wanna send a huge thank you out to Hastel Toy and Collectibles over on Instagram. We featured his page tons of times on this YouTube channel and he is no doubt my go-to hookup when it comes to anything vintage Ghostbusters. All right, now focusing in on the box here, I love that old school real Ghostbusters yellow and purple combination. It pops so nicely, it looks so good. Of course, we have the real Ghostbusters logo. It says, who you gonna call up top as well? Kenner claims that wearing the official Proton Pack lets you become one of the real Ghostbusters team. Taking a look a bit further down, we've got that very Kenner distinctive style art of both Peter, Egon, and a ghost. And then we also have this kid here who is totally suited up and he looks so cool despite that haircut. We've also got a breakdown as to what comes inside the box, which of course it does have the proton pack, the neutrino blaster, the PKE meter, and an armband. Now this box is soon gonna be pushing 35 years old and turning it around, you can definitely see the wear, the tear, the aging. We've got that original tape on the left hand side, just holding on by a thread, as well a breakdown as to what originally came inside. Once again, the pack, the blaster, the PKE meter, the armband, and also an ID card. Now, quick heads up, this box, obviously, with the tape and everything, it has been opened before, and I do know there is no ID card inside. So if anybody actually still has their hands on one of those original ID cards, be sure to let me know. Send me a message. Maybe we can work out a deal. All right, let's go ahead and crack this open here. And it seems only fitting that we do start things off with the actual Proton Pack. And for the aging here, I am so happy with actually how this looks. There's really like no dings or marks like on the pack. The stickers for the most part are in really good shape. Oh, and speaking of the stickers, before anybody in the comment section brings it up, yes, the Proton Pack is apparently powered by the Triforce. Now this Proton Pack, it doesn't look like anything we actually saw in the original real Ghostbusters animated series. But despite that, I've always loved the amount of detail. From the sculpted tubing, the buttons, the two little screws here on the left hand side. And even when you turn it around, you're gonna notice like this grating. And that is one area that's actually strangely accurate to the animated series. And moving on from the Proton Pack, we've got this yellow cable here that is attaching to the Neutrono Blaster, or as we often call it nowadays, the Neutrono Wand. The harder plastic used for the wand was always a lighter shade of blue. And of course there are stickers, including a Ghostbuster sticker on the side. But to me, the sculpt is really the selling point here. I love the knobs that are found on both the left and right hand side. Once again, some of the added push button detail and also that tubing that is coming out of the main gun body. Now, when it comes to the Neutrono Blaster, there was another accessory you could add to it, and that was this big piece of foam, which uh, was kind of made to replicate the proton stream. Oh, as well, the blaster also made noise. There's a little orange trigger back here, and all you had to do is just hit that trigger and... Actually, I guess to complete the look, I'm supposed to like shake this around and kind of waggle it. So much fun, even for an adult like me, who is still pretty much practically a child. And a quick FYI, I did try and put the pack on my back, um, but it was kind of a tight fit, and I was worried of actually, you know, breaking the, the black straps on the pack. So I don't think we're gonna do that here today. Also, I don't feel like dislocating my shoulder. Now, when it comes to more gadgetry, as the box alluded to, the Proton Pack also comes with a PKE meter. And this meter is arguably as iconic as the pack itself. Once again, cast in that blue plastic, the same as the Neutrono Blaster. We have some orange highlights here, first with the top antenna, which I don't know, as a kid and growing up, I know I went through quite a few of these PKE meters, because for me, the antenna would always break, or if you ever had a pet, in particular, a dog, the tip of that antenna always seemed to be like the perfect chew toy. 
We also have this orange crank knob found on the main body. And when you turn that, you're gonna be treated to like the best sound in the world. It's a wonder my parents let me play with this thing. Now when it comes to the sculpting, we've got three big knobs on the side. They don't turn at all, but they look the part. As well, what looks like a couple of push buttons on the top. And then taking a look at the back here, you're gonna see it does have a belt clip. As well, you can also rotate the antenna, like so. Oh, one really cool thing actually I didn't mention about the pack is right here, this is actually a spot for the meter. All you gotta do is just put a little bit of pressure and it just pops securely in place. Now last in the box, we've got ourselves a Real Ghostbusters armband. And once again, this made you an official member of the Real Ghostbusters team, right? And much like the Proton Pack and the meter and everything, the one I have here today, I am so happy with when it comes to the quality. Like to me, this does not look like it's approaching nearly 35 years. Now for those wondering, while I do have bird-like arms, this armband, it does not fit adult Jason. The amount of sadness I felt when I found that out uh, it's, it's, it's immeasurable. So Ghostbusters fans, that does it today for our look back at the Kenner Real Ghostbusters Proton Pack. As I mentioned earlier in the video, huge thank you goes out to Hastel Toy and Collectibles for the hookup here. And if you're looking to track down anything for your Ghostbuster or toy collection, be sure to hit him up over on Instagram. We have a link to his page down below in the description. That's all I've got for here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.